sometimes use this other it's a complex and often misunderstood condition and it can have devastating effects on an individual's health social relationship and overall well-being hi i'm ac hato a licensed clinical health psychologist and i make mental health education videos today we're going to be talking about substance use disorder a chronic medical condition that affects many people worldwide so what exactly is substance use disorder? Well, it's a chronic medical condition characterized by the compulsive use of drugs or alcohol, despite the negative consequences that result from their use. It's very important to understand that addiction is neither a choice nor a moral feeling, but rather a brain disease that alters the chemical balance in the brain, leading to changes in behavior, mood, and cognitive function. That being said, Let's always empathize with people struggling with this condition and show them more love. This will further encourage them and greatly impact their recovery. Now let's take an example of what substance use disorder can look like. Let's take the example of Amos, a 35-year-old man who has been struggling with alcohol addiction for several years. Amos started drinking during his college days as a way to cope with stress and anxiety. Over time, his drinking escalated and he found himself drinking more frequently and in larger quantities. That's why the negative consequences that resulted from his drinking, such as losing his job, damaging his relationship with family and friends, and even experiencing health problems, Amos was unable to stop on his own. At this point, I would like to ask, have you or someone you know suffered from substance use disorder before? If so, please share your story in the comments below. I would love to read them. Substance use disorder can manifest in different ways depending on the substance use and the individual's unique um, circumstances. According to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, which are often referred to as our mental health bible, the criteria for substance use disorder include symptoms such as cravings and compulsive use of the substance, loss of control by the amount and frequency of the substance being used, continuous use of the substance despite the negative consequences, Withdrawal symptoms when the substance is not being used, and finally, neglecting personal and social responsibilities due to the use of the substance. Let me know in the comments if any of these symptoms resonate with you or someone you know. Now, let's delve into coping strategies of substance use disorder. The first is avoiding triggers. This involves identifying people and places and things that trigger substance use and avoiding them as much as possible. For example, if someone's trigger is going to a bar or a certain club, they can choose to avoid that place and find alternative activities to do instead, such as going to the gym or even watching a movie. Another example is avoiding certain people who may enable substance use or trigger cravings, such as friends who also use drugs or alcohol. The second is developing a support system. Having a support system can make a big difference in managing substance use disorder. This can include friends, family members, and even healthcare professionals who are understanding and supportive, supportive of the individual's recovery journey. Support groups such as AA or NA can provide a sense of community and accountability. For example, attending AA meetings and connecting with others who are also in recovery can help individuals feel less alone and more motivated to stay sober. The third is practicing self-care. This can include engaging in activities that promote relaxation, such as even taking a warm bath, meditating, or practicing yoga. Practicing self-care can help individuals feel more balanced and resilient, making it easy to prevent relapse. The last strategy is learning relaxation techniques. Examples could be deep breathing exercises or even progressive muscle relaxation. These techniques can help individuals feel more calmer and more centered making it easy to resist cravings and stay sober. What are some of the treatment options available to manage these conditions? Well, treatments of substance use disorder typically involves a combination of med medication, behavior therapy, and support groups. Medications can help manage withdrawal symptoms and cravings. Behavior therapy, such as cognitive behavior therapy, motivational interview, and contingency management can help individuals learn coping skills and develop strategies to manage triggers and prevent relapse. Residential treatment programs such as rehabs also provide intensive treatment in a structured environment and can be effective for individuals with severe substance use disorder. Support groups such as Alcoholic Anonymous and Narcotic Anonymous can provide a sense of community and accountability. 
It is important to understand that addiction is not a choice or a moral feeling. An individual struggling with this addiction deserves compassion and support. I hope this has helped you better understand substance use disorder. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance use disorder or any form of addiction, please seek help from a qualified healthcare professional. Remember, recovery is possible and you don't have to go through this alone. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos on mental health and well-being. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.